So what happens now? I'll tell you. We know that the H910 is 10 bits, and what 10 bits means is that it needs to be able to count to 1024. The way that they did this is called pulse code modulation. Pulse code modulation is a very popular way of converting audio from an analog domain to a digital domain. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a snapshot of the audio. For example, we're gonna say we have a sine wave. Wow. We're gonna take a snapshot at this point in time. And instead of snapshot, I'm gonna say sample. We're gonna sample this voltage at this point in time is five volts. And this voltage doesn't really have much to do with the H910 because you know we're, we're providing this from an external unit. So like a synthesizer or a microphone through a mic preamp or whatever. But at this point in time, we're getting five volts. Now, we are going to take this five volts and put it in a capacitor. So let's say this, this next line is gonna be the capacitor's uh, voltage. We'll say cap voltage over time, five volts right here at this point. <laughs> okay, hopefully you're following me. So at this point in time, we have five volts inside of our capacitor. And then we're gonna drain the capacitor back down to zero. And then we're gonna take another, these two graphs don't have the same um, X time scale, FYI. We're gonna take another snapshot right here. Let's say this is three volts. So now we're gonna go whoo, up to three volts. And then we're gonna drain it again. And then we're gonna go right here. We say this is one volt at our next um, sample. We're gonna go up to one and so forth. The way that we're gonna convert this from a voltage to digital audio is we're gonna count the length of time with our very fast clock. How long does it take for the cap to go from here to zero volts before our next sample period?